Just picked up these watches at the thrift store and there's a couple in here that are real nice. Right here I can see there's a men's automatic watch in here. That's like a hundred bucks minimum. When I look through the second bag, I can see a Gucci watch and it looks like it might be real. Let's tear the bags open and start seeing what we've got. It's like a mix, some that are cheap, some that are good. Start right from the top. Not a bad watch to start with. This would be a Wittenauer quartz. Clean up that crystal, that's probably a $60 watch. An Eden. Shock protected, anti-magnetic, so this would be a mechanical. There's no crystal, let's take a look at the movement. It's not a jeweled movement, stamped steel. If I give it a wind, it wants to go, but it needs to cleaned up. Thing. That'd probably be a $25 watch. Here's a no-name junk watch, maybe about five bucks. That'd be five bucks with a new battery. Let's see the one I want to look at right here. This is an Admiration 17 Jewel Automatic Waterproof Watch. Just give it a little shake and you can see that second hand moving real nice. Just like this, it would sell for about 125 bucks or a lot more. We'll remove the back and see what's in here. 17 jewels with the automatic. That thing is gorgeous. When you move it side to side, it winds itself. This goes without saying, this pays for the whole bag. We'll go for the next one. A big chance that this one's fake. If this one's real, this is really worth the it's bag. It's actually a decent movement. I wasn't expecting it to be this nice, but I still don't think this one's real. Even the inside of the back is nice. The more I look at this, the more it looks real. There's a whole bag of fakes. For sure, this one's a fake, and you can see, look at that movement, how cheap it is. Look at the difference. Here's another fake. When you open up the movement, just a cheap movement. Big difference. Here's the inscription on the back. Here's a close-up of that movement. You can see there's jewels on it. Right here in the middle, those ruby colored stones. The case is not stamped out. And this texture in here is like hand done. And it's got a beautiful gasket. It's like in perfect condition. I'll have to do some more research, but this one might be real. In this condition, for sure, a few hundred That's bucks. real, I was not expecting that. I'll grab another one. Here's a gossip watch, which is a terrible name for a watch. When I push these buttons, nothing works, so the complications don't work. This one's work. a good shape, probably worth about 20 bucks. Another Wittenauer quartz. Wow, look at the quartz movement on that. Quartz movement, that's nice. Usually you don't get this lucky in a junk bag. This is like at least a $100 watch. Here's an Ann Klein, not bad shape, probably 25 bucks. Ann watch with a date down really there. nice shape, probably 25 bucks. And here's that Gucci watch. And it actually feels like I'm something. To open it up, case looks pretty nice. The movement there. doesn't look like much, and it says China on the back inside. I would say this is a nice looking fake. If this worked, it'd be like a $5 watch. Nice rhinestones, good shape, probably $15 watch. Nice Seiko watch, 30 bucks. St. Martin's watch, five bucks. Acura Quartz, owned by Timex. Pretty clean, 15 bucks. Now this watch looks cheap, but it's a designer watch. A lot of these will sell for over 100 bucks. It's got a pretty decent looking movement. From everything I see, I don't see any indication that it would be fake. I'll have to do a little more research on this one. There were some really nice surprises in that bag. Conservatively taking a look at this, this would be like $500 in watches. Wouldn't expect that for two bags for $18.